Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Miss Gold Tate. I'm bringing you Monk Monday at number 88. Thank you so much for anyone that's missed their gameplay. For those of you who don't know what that is, you send any games you have that are Monk related to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, I go over it, uh, I go over your cooldowns, your teammates' cooldowns. It could be PVE, which is twos, threes, RBGs. It could be PVE. I've done Mythic Plus. I have not done any raiding, but anything like that, I'm more than happy. Windwalker, Mistweaver, doesn't matter. I've done both. So please feel free to send any gameplay you have. And today we have. Have Senritsu, Senritsa, and they say in their email, uh, I'm trying to learn Mistweaver this patch. I share with you some videos so you can critique and give me some advice. I absolutely will. Um, this is my first time playing the spec. I always played Windwalker, but thanks to your channel on YouTube and Twitch, I kind of wanted to try. I'm glad I have that effect. I I think Mistweaver is the most fun spec in the game. So yeah, I commend you for giving it a shot. Um, hope you can help me improve. I hope I can as well. I hope I can as well. Um, so I guess let's just jump right into it. I see that we're playing, uh, we're playing with the Demon Hunter, playing Song of Chiji, which uh, Shadow Priest Feral Druid is actually, I think it's a good option. You're probably gonna kill the Shadow Priest, so you can just in-cap Song of Chiji, the Feral. The only thing you want to keep track of though is the Shadow Priest. If you know they're paying attention, they can mass the spell, the Song of Chiji. So just keep that in mind. But besides that. Um, that's the only thing. Your Demon Hunter can kick it, so you can use it while stunned. Or, you know, if your Demon Hunter stuns the Shadow Priest, you go for an Encamp Song of the Pharaoh. That's good, too. Um, but, yeah, uh, we'll see what you do. Um, as far as talents go, I would say you probably want to play... You probably want to play Eminence versus this, just because the Feral Druid can kind of... If they're Night Fae and they have the really annoying... You know the one minute convoke uh, they can kind of just kill you so you could pour los to help keep you alive and then i would probably play peace weaver and then zen focus t just because they have two kicks or they have a kick and a silence um also i noticed that you're playing uh emony i would highly recommend playing plague divisor which is the first soul bind because it gives you um the ultimate form which makes you immune to crowd control so just keep that in mind i use emony for pve a lot um but there isn't much, I, you really, I think you want to be um, Plague Divisor. So try that out. Uh, it makes you immune to CC, which is nice. Um, I think I'm lying. Okay, we're good, I think. All right, so there's Devouring Plague. So one thing I want to note is when you see Devouring Plague, that kind of kind of shows who they're going to try to go. So just I would dispel this because if they get another Devouring Plague, it, their next one does so much damage. So get a port down. We have a statue up already, which is perfect. And then kind of kite away from your port and then dispel. Great dispel there. Perfect. Um, and then get a port down just because um, it's a little bit scary, you know. Uh, great port. Or avoiding the, the void volley, which is nice. The Feral's click is using in great leg sweep into a Song of Chi-Gi. Beautiful. If they trinket you in cap, this is fine. You can go for a paralysis. Beautiful. Beautiful job there. And then, yeah, just you're just hanging out right here. Hey, there's Convoke. Careful. Careful of Convoke. Good. All right, Cocoon, and we get the kill. Yeah. No, that's fine. That that, that, that was perfect. What I would have potentially done, normally what I try to do um, when a DPS goes on me is I try to go for the... I go for an in-cap here, but you go for the legs. It doesn't really matter uh, because you get the trinket anyway, and then you get an in-cap, which is nice. And uh, overall, no, this... I have no complaints about this game. This was good. The only scary part was this combo. Be careful, because we're pushing in. I guess we're pushing in for a uh, Maledict. But don't push in too hard, but oh, we got the win. I I got nothing to complain about this game. This was a really good game. Um, really solid job. Uh, and yeah, that's good. All right, so we have uh, Mistweaver Affliction Warlock. So you probably, your kill target is probably going to be the Affliction Warlock. I would say you want to run, and I'll put some macros in the description for you, um, but you want to play Healing Sphere, and you, I have two macros for Healing Sphere. I have an at player, and I have an at cursor macro. What the at player macro does is it places an orb right on top of where you are. You can't have any other macro for, like, teammates. It's just for yourself. So that way, you know, if you want to place an orb right on you, and, you, you know, boom. You're good. It orb will spawn on you. It dispels all your dots. And then I'll have an at cursor to help you quickly place orbs. Um, a little trick I would do with healing sphere is I would put a healing sphere on your port. That way, if you if they do 
decide to go EU, you could just port and it dispels everything as soon as you port. So I would keep that in mind. Talents, I would go Zen Focus T, Peace Weaver, Healing Sphere, and then nothing crazy. Song of Chi-Gi is fine because they only have one kick. Um, but do be careful. They do have the... I don't know. Every time the game starts, kind of lags me. I don't know why. Um, be careful of... I think it's Demon Bolt because it, it kind of takes all the dots and like makes things does like single target damage so just be careful with that um we kicked already we stunned in cap here into a song you could zen focus t this and okay all right well oh. all right the warlock died well already then there goes there goes that whole talk about uh yeah, um, I don't know if you're playing spheres. I try to get the hang of them and they're really good versus shadow priest uh, affliction warlock in arena So the song is a little too intense for me. It's like really 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 intense. That, that was actually the game. That's crazy. What? You, you guys are killing these people <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. We got another affliction warlock So same thing as I said before. Oh cool um, I would drop counteract magic and I would play healing spheres um the reason why I say that is because Healing Spheres doesn't give you... The, when, when a Healing Sphere dispels Unstable Affliction, you don't get silenced. But if you dispel with Expel Harm, um, you get silenced and then you take the damage. And then on top of that, you kind of open yourself up to being kicked because you have to channel your Soothing Mist for so long. So instead of Cataract Magic, I would drop that for Healing Spheres. I'll put the macros again in the description just for you. Um, but overall, these talents are fine, perfectly fine. Song of Chi-Gi might be a little bit more difficult. Oh, it's a Disc Priest? Okay, then yeah, you should be okay with um, playing Song of Chi-Gi. If it was a Holy Priest, it'd be a little bit more difficult, but um, I, with Fade and everything, but Disc Priest, you should be fine, and you should be able to out mana, or potentially. So good job of staying max range at the start. It was really nice. Um, it looks like there's a Mind Blast, there's a Koi already. So in cap, we're kind of looking for like some kind of, so here, yeah. Let me just see what happens. So I would say right here, when you're playing Song of Chi Gi, Song of Chi Gi is really, really hard to like get off. You know, like um, it's not easy to to get it, especially versus a caster with Spamble CC with Coils, Fears, Shadow Fury. Like ugh, it's so annoying. It's, it's a nightmare. So when you can, when you do go in for an in cap, what I would suggest is go for the in cap, start channeling the 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 Song of Chi Gi. If you get kicked, it's fine. Just get the leg sweep. Um, that way you have the kick, you know, you already have the kick, you know. Um, it is unfortunate, though, because we do dispel here. Um, oh, no, we do get kicked, too. Okay, we didn't dispel. We got kicked. Okay, that's fine. That's perfect. He kicked before we even songed. So, that's... We're fine with, we're fine with that. Uh, uh, no trouble here. Um, so, this is good. It looks like you're... Somehow... Oh, we reversed UAs back onto the warlock. Okay, and the shadow, and the priest dispelled. Okay, I was kind of confused with that there, but we, I I caught up. I caught up. Bonus brew here. It's all right. My bonus brew whips every day. Don't worry about it. Um, make sure you keep renewing mist up. Um, okay, we just committed two cooldowns there. So again, when it comes to cooldowns, just be careful uh, because now you really have nothing. I would just say as this, I would just say revival here because you're immune to everything. You see a shackle coming in hot from the warlock. Um, beautiful, good revival there. Maybe one wouldn't have used life cocoon, but that's fine. A good time to go for an in-cap here into a song. There's Trinket from the priest looking for, oh, barely don't get it into potentially a touch of death. Try to do some damage here. Touch of death maybe? Nah, all right. All right, doesn't want to work today. That's fine. That's. That's fine. Uh, but make sure you keep renewing. We have two charges over doing miss. I see you spamming one. Make sure you, you want to make sure you always want to make sure you have renewing mist on yourself, which is great. And then make sure you get a renewing mist, especially on the kill target, like whoever's dying. That way your vivify could just spread heal. Um, just keep that in mind. And so far, so good. Warlock doesn't have kick for five seconds. So uh, we kind of waited too long for the song of Chi-Gi, which is fine. Honestly, the great part about song of Chi-Gi is it's enough where the warlock's gonna hold on to their kick until you start chant and so you start casting song of Chi-Gi. so like if he kicks you right now if this warlock kicks you right now it's fine because you, you get a free song uh like great leg sweep i would go for a song here and then i think this is just currency here i would dispel the fear for sure and uh get the skill oh he has necrolord so there's a little flesh craft there all right i think we overlapped a little bit with the song of Chi-Gi as well it's like we get the leg sweep and then we get the song 
and there's still like two seconds left on leg sweep so just you know if if you get the leg sweep you can like you can heal for a global and then go for the song if that makes sense you know put over renewing missed up and then go for the song just because we overlap two seconds of you know song of gg with leg sweep. you see right here you have like two seconds left on leg sweeping a little bit of an overlap perfectly fine but just keep that in mind um timing is is kind of annoying because you never know if you're actually gonna get it or not uh there's a fear it's a half fear and a shadow fury which is perfect overlap for you make sure you put a renewing mist on yourself just put a renewing mist on yourself and then also also keep in mind expel harm i know it's really underrated but if you're taking some damage renewing mist expel harm instant healing for yourself you don't get kicked beautiful you know keep putting renewing mist it looks like we got a thunder focus t here get coiled and i think we we should have vivify coming up 20 seconds on on uh, uh not vivify revival so that's pretty good and again priest doesn't have trinket so you know next time what you're looking for is the next time your demon hunter goes for a stun uh go for an in-cap leg sweep or in-cap song on the priest and try to get a kill nice in-cap nice nice try to get the song maybe nice oh yeah oh wait did that death not go off i don't know how that death didn't go off so you want to make sure you're very very close to the priest because what priests have is they have shadow or death which makes it so they take dam they cast it and then they take damage and what you there's a little gap here right here i don't know how it it looks like the it looks like the animation for it the priest somehow didn't get it off so just always keep on just stay kind of close that way um there is no gap so that the priest can't has no way to get out of it and i think that's the hunt right there from you that's uh barrier we have a leg sweep coming up in four this is dark soul you could uh, we did revival so just be careful because these are going to stick and there's a full leg sweep yo thank you so much for the follow i'm actually recording this video but thank you moldy bread for the follow i appreciate that thank you thank you i hope you see this so we get full fear here we dispel again if you're playing healing spheres you can see that you don't get a lot of value out of counter magic because you don't have a whole lot of time to just plant your feet and channel soothing mist so that's why the uh healing spheres are so good versus affliction warlocks like um you could dispel there's no no silence or damage you take which helps your mana as well so keep that in mind also these vivifies right here do we have manatee okay we don't have manatee uh make sure you keep your renewing mist on yourself right here because you're losing out on a little bit of healing um actually quite a bit of healing when you don't have renewing mist and you're sparing vivifies i don't think you have a lot of master either um we get kicked uh i would go for an in cap on the priest here probably gonna shrink it instantly i i think they will go for a song don't stack too okay nice song we get a trinket I think we get the kill. Don't the worst thing you can do versus a priest. I think this was really big trouble here if uh, if uh, this priest got a fear on you. So only try to you only push it on a priest when you have the guaranteed CC. Um, did, did we have an in cap? Oh yeah, we had an in cap, but we got really close because this priest could free fear you, you know, and then maybe they tee off on you, and it's a little bit scary. So try not to push it on a priest if you don't have to. But overall not a bad game positioning wise just make sure you keep renewing mist on everybody as much as you can make sure yeah make sure you keep renewing mist on on everybody and just swap out counter to magic for healing sphere again i'll put the macros in the description for you and uh you'll be you'll be good i promise now uh let me take a look at these knock clips real here real quick let me see what we got here all right what map is this <laughs> lm all right let's see what we got we get feared we have no trinket we have two charges oh let me see this who are we knocking we're going to get the rep alley after the grip give me one more what rop <laughs> yeah this guy thought <laughs> that guy actually thought man oh my god third time's the charm oh i love that so much i love that all right give me another one which one do we got more oh oh i i love knocking on a wrathy basin in mid on blacksmith is so nice especially if it's a tank all right who are we knocking who are we getting yeah 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 oh yeah peace good 
Mistweavers are so annoying to fight. It's actually like, I'm getting annoyed just looking at these guys. Oh, this guy's Kyrian too. We're Kyrian. Kyrian's pretty good. Twin Peaks? Oh my god. Wait, do you knock him all the way off? Trying to keep our tank alive. Nice stun on that. Knock him. One more. <laughs> Get the cap? Oh my god, dude. Great games. Um... Love the Nox. The Nox are actually freaking hilarious, man. I, I love Nox. I, there should be, I should do like something with like Nox. I don't know. Something funny with them. But um, yeah, this game, not much to say. Really good. Uh, Song of Chi G with Leg Sweep and, and Incap. A lot of ways that you could CC the Feral Druid. So great job. Uh, this one, you just owned him. That's pretty much it. And then this one, uh, try to trade up Counter to Magic for Healing Spheres. For the fourth time, I'll put the macros in the description for you. And make sure you keep doing miss on you and your teammate at all times. Don't push in on a priest if you don't have to. Don't do not do it. And then when it comes to defensives, um, try not to overlap life cocoon and revival. I know the first go, maybe we kind of panicked a little bit. Just, you know, it's, a, it's an affliction warlock. If you have revival, you're fine. So, you know, don't freak out if you see mind games and everything. Just throw a revival, renewing mist, and you're fine. Um, for self-healing... Renewing Mist and Expel Harm, they're instant. Just throw it on yourself and it's like 20, 30% healing. So uh, try to do that when you feel like you're taking some heat and you don't want to get interrupted. And that's pretty much it. That is that is all I got. Um, if, hopefully this was helpful, like you, like you were hoping. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to send more gameplay. Ask me questions. I'm more than happy to answer questions. Anything you have. And uh, that's it for me. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video and this was helpful. I'll see you later.